Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lay, and I'm here with another video. As you can tell by the title, you already know what's going on in today's video. I wanted to bring something new that I have not done already. Um, I've seen this on YouTube, a couple people did it, but y'all know, your girl always be coming with the tea, the details. I'm very, very detailed when it comes to my videos. So I was like, why not do it? Like, it ain't on my channel, so. Who cares? But anywho, as you can tell by title, like I said, y'all already know what's going on. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to do a frontal unit on a sewing machine, but using the cut frontal method. And when I mean that, that means based off the measurements, I'm going to cut the frontal based off the customer measurements exactly when it comes to the ear and ear, which you guys have seen in this video. But before we get into this video really quick, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit that little bell next to it so you get notified every time I upload a video. And be sure to like this video and comment down below if you guys enjoyed it and what y'all want to see next. Like, you know, just communicate with me because I surely do respond it. As long as I see the comment, I'll respond back to y'all if I know the answer or if I can help it anyway. But I don't want to talk too much, so let's get into it the video so y'all um like i said i'm going to be doing a cut frontal method in today's video so um i'm going to be installing this wig on my customer but she wanted me to make the wig as well so she booked for a custom unit plus an install so today well not today but she dropped off her hair and she gave me her measurements like very detailed the conference in the ear front to nape like literally she gave me all the um the measurements so i can make sure her wig fit the same but when i seen it i was like oh this is a perfect time for me to do the front cut the, the front <laughs> cut frontal method on my channel because i've been wanting to do it but i haven't got around to doing it so i was like okay perfect timing so her circumference is a 21 and then she got her front to nape her ear to ear her um, ear to ear over the top and then the temple to temple and then she got the back which is the nape. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my stand, I'm gonna get my dome head size 21 and then we'll get into it. The conference is a 21. So I have my 21 dome head. I'm gonna put that on my stand. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna lift this up so y'all can see a little bit. I may have to adjust the camera because that's too tall for me. Okay, so I have my small wig cap. And like I said, I have my wig cap vendor. So I'm just gonna put this on here. Oh wait, So I'm gonna put my small cap on here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my T pins to pin the back, and then I'm going to complete the other measurements and I'm gonna measure it off and then we'll come right back. All right, so now that we have the measurements done, I'm going to adjust the camera so you guys can see me cut the front two to her actual ear to ear. So this is the front that she supplied me. Her ear to ear is 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the measuring tape and I'm going to show you guys how to cut this to 12 to do the whole cut front to method. Tape in her ear to ear is 12. Her inner ear is 12, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the one. So we're gonna put the one over here, and then we're gonna measure off to 12. So 12 is right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put six in the middle, as even as you can get it directly in the middle. So six is in the middle. So one is right here. And 12 is right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my sharpie and I'm going to mark off where it's at 12 and then I'm going to mark off where the one is so by doing that that is the measurement of her ear to ear so we have the two marking one right here and one right here this is the 12 and this is the one and then what you're gonna do is you're going to go in with your scissors and you're going to, I would say part off the hair first so you won't cut off too much hair. So you can take it to the front 
and then like you can do like an estimate of where to cut off at and just make sure it lines up with the sharpie so I can see the mark for the sharpie is right here so I'm going to go over some more and line up directly where the sharpie is and you can just go like that make sure it's straight So now that I have that first marking, I'm going to move the hair to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this off. Boom. So we have that piece off. You can trash it. And then if you want to make sure you got it correctly, as you can tell, the Sharpie is right there and it's lined up exactly where it's at. And we're going to do the same to this side. So I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do an estimate of where I think the part is. So I see the Sharpie. So there is the Sharpie line right there. So I have to go over a little bit more. Okay, so I see the Sharpie. I'm just gonna perfect this to make sure I don't cut off too much hair that's not supposed to be cut off. So, I'm gonna bring that over. And once you have that line perfect, again, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go and cut directly where the line is. And you can throw that little piece away. And there you see the Sharpie line. And that is your cut frontal. And what you want to do if you want to make sure you have it correct, you can put the one right there again. And then there go the 12. So as you can tell, I have it directly at the 12. Now that you have that measurement, you can go ahead, take your dome head again. And you can place this one too on the dome head since you already have your measurements. So this is how my guidelines looking. So now you can take their front. You can take the front off.
the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it this is the finished look and the cut the front to is cut so that's why it's called cut front to method but the wig, the wig is complete this is the inside very nice very neat and i sew i hand sew the lace on but this is a small cap i put my logo and my comb and she got the three bundles it's really really full so what I'm about to do is I'm about to bleach the knots and then I'm going to go ahead and pluck and customize this wig. But that's the end. this is the end of this video because I just want to show you guys the whole method. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.